In the previous video, I showed you how to use a graphics calculator to find the equation of an exponential regression model using the question that I've just placed up in here. Today, we're going to have a look at what the values of A and B represent inside that exponential regression model, which was represented in the format of Y equals A multiplied by B to the power of X. Now, in the previous video, we found that the line of best fit for the exponential regression model was P is equal to 200 multiplied by 1.37 to the power of T, where our P variable is our response variable, or our Y, and our T variable was our explanatory variable, which is our X here. Now, in context to a problem, our A value can be thought of as the starting value of our response variable when our explanatory variable is equal to zero. Now, because this had such a high correlation of exponential regression between them, the 200 here did actually match perfectly to our starting value of our populations when our t was equal to zero. So our 200 tells us that's how many rabbits there were when the time was zero. Now the B value here actually tells us how much percentage of an increase or decrease of our response variable there was for every one change of our explanatory variable. Now to find this, we've actually got to subtract one away from our B value. And if our B value is greater than one, we're gonna have a percentage increase, but if it was less than one, we'd actually end up with a percentage decrease which would be indicated when we subtract one away from it with a negative value. But let's have a look at this exact problem so we can understand it a little bit more. So our B value here was 1.37. To work out whether we've got a percentage increase or decrease, we actually need to subtract one away from it. So 1.37 subtract one will equal 0.37. Because this is a positive value, it indicates that we've got a percentage increase, and that percentage is 37%. Therefore, there's a... There is a 37% increase in the population of rabbits each and every year. Now, let's just for a minute think about if this value here was less than one. When we subtracted one away from that value, if it was less than one, we'd end up with a negative value here. If that's a negative value, that indicates that it's a percentage decrease instead. So if this was negative 0.37, for example, it would indicate a 37% decrease in the population of rabbits each year. But that didn't occur here. This ended up as a positive value, so it was a percentage increase instead. So to summarise, our A value represents the initial starting value. And if I was actually to write this out properly, I would say that the initial population of rabbits was 200. Where our B value is our percentage increase or decrease of our explanatory variable, so population here, for every one change of our response variable. So in this case, years.